What is up YouTube, XCX Solutions here, and today I am bringing you another tutorial, and this is on how to monitor your network using Glasswire. Glasswire is a network monitor. Now, this is very, very handy indeed, and I do recommend it to you guys. This basically monitors your whole network and reveals information such as real-time network traffic, usage, threat monitoring and even firewall this is a free program but you can actually buy this uh, up to about six months i believe there is different licenses for this and it will basically gain you some more extra features on monitoring on different devices but you can use this daily as it is very very handy to have on your computer and basically just monitor your whole network to see if everything is okay so the link will be in the description below go over to the website and you will see a massive download button so be sure to click this and i'm just going to save it to my desktop now that i have it on my desktop i'm simply going to install it hit next agree to the terms and i'm going to do a clean install because i did have this previously and uninstalled it for this tutorial and i'm going to install it to its default location so once the setup has completely finished you'll see a little message that says to ensure that glasswire detects all of your currently established network connections a reboot is recommended so if you do want to go ahead and reboot be sure to do that then you'll know that the program is 100 working so once you have rebooted and you have opened the application you will see this so as you can see straight away it is monitoring my connection in real time with the little spikes and the graph going ahead and the time below you can also stop this at any time if you do want to see any of the connections established by hitting this pause button or simply left clicking in the graph and it will just pause and then to unpause you can simply right click and that will unpause it for you if you did miss something and you do want to go back in time you can use this graph at the bottom here and it will show you all of the previous network traffic on your connection so if we go ahead and go to apps you can see that these are the apps that are currently running on my computer right now so i have dropbox open all the time and you can see that it's using 1.4 kilobytes download and it's also uploading 1.4 kilobytes of data as well so it's not a lot and you can also see that chrome is doing Doing the exactly the same thing so you can see each application and how much data is actually using you'll see a similar sort of thing but with services and different things that are running in the background of the computer also now you may have many more than i do as i don't have much on this computer currently but as time goes on you will be installing a lot of programs most likely and you will need to monitor different things so going over to the firewall tab so you can actually go ahead and click on this and click to block ask to connect or block all so this will basically just block all communications and connections established to do with the application so if you go ahead and click on the little flame icon now dropbox is not going to be establishing any type of connection any data is being received and you'll see here that the data has stopped being sent from the actual host which is obviously the dropbox server go ahead and untick this and it will continue so that's pretty awesome if you do want to obviously block something you know an application that may not be functioning properly or you just don't want any connection being transmitted you can go ahead and block it in this tab so the next tab we have is usage now this is where all the magic happens especially for me i love to monitor basically everything that is happening on my connection especially you know if the connection speed is really really slow you can basically see every outgoing and incoming data on your network so we have the different hosts and a different IP address. We have the traffic type, so it also tells you what's actually using it and obviously applications as well. So right now, Glasswire is obviously being used on its server and is using the most data of the applications. If I was to load a YouTube video or something like that, then obviously Google Chrome would be using a lot of data as well. If you go ahead and hover over one of the applications, you'll see a more in-depth look at what is actually going on. So we have bandwidth, name, the path it's located, the version number publisher and even a virus scan so you can go ahead and click on virus scan and this will basically scan it to see if there's anything not right you know if it's malware and stuff like that so that's also very very nice to have as well so as I was saying earlier you can go ahead and purchase a license this will give you some benefits not a lot but it will basically allow you to monitor different devices on the actual network so if you had a laptop or maybe a tablet or something that supports Windows and install Glasswire on that device you can actually monitor it on your your main PC 
from your actual laptop to see what usage and network is going on there. And last but not least, we have alerts. So if you do miss anything and you've left your computer on and you maybe go for dinner or something like that, you will see every established connection that's been connected to your network. So as you can see, we've got my Sky router. This is my broadband. We've got Dropbox, Google Chrome, and many, many more. Obviously, depending on how many sort of applications you have on your PC, there will be a lot more. But it's also nice to see if a program has malware. So if you download something that you're not too sure about and you've scanned it and it says it's completely fine, then you go ahead and run it and you get a network connection from Glasswire Then be sure to look into that because it might be genuine and it might be connected to some kind of server that you know does manual updates and stuff like that but it also could be a DNS to you know a rat or a piece of malware so this will go ahead and real-time tell you it's very very handy to have and you can also look more in depth in this as well so if you do go ahead and install this piece of software be sure to always have it running in the background as it will basically give you alerts and just tell you everything that's going on on your network and you can always go back and forward in time just to see if there's anything happening that's a little bit concerning so that's pretty much the overall GUI we can click up here we can also activate Glasswire buy a license change the language so if you're from a different region that has multiple languages we can do snooze go in incognito they have a forum about help exit and we also have skins here as well so that is pretty much it on Glassware. I hope this helped you in a way. Comment, rate, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.